<clears throat> hey Hector. Yeah? Can you finish it by tomorrow? Oh yeah, sure. It'll be done by tomorrow. It'll be ready by then. Good. Of course, no problem. Oh yeah, it'll be done all right. <laughs> no worry. <laughs> I don't think there's a single person who have escaped the shackles of procrastination. It's the feeling when you want to do something, or you have to do something, but you cannot seem to jump into it. You wait for something, something better to come up, something more interesting, and your mind scatters away. You essentially postpone something that you have promised to yourself to get done. But for some reason, your mind seems to lock down and you feel kind of mentally paralyzed and will do everything but your mission. I've received several requests and I thought to myself, hmm, let's talk. First of all, you have to know that procrastination is quite natural and it's not some kind of a mental disease or disorder. It's just a state of mind and your body tries to communicate with you something. Listen closely. No feelings are just. There are always some kind of a reason behind your procrastinating. And also I wanted to mention that I am no exception to procrastination and it happens to me from time to time. There are different reasons to why procrastination occurs. Some of them are grounded in laziness, others grounded in fear, but they're all important to you to not neglect. Find the reason, deal with it and understand yourself. You might hear different reasonings to procrastination and I will go through them. But in my experience, a true procrastination comes from unwillingness to do those tasks that we have to do, that we procrastinate from. It's like your body is aching, not wanting to do a certain thing, like doing a homework or master thesis. Many of those things become a chore, and uh, we people tend to become uncomfortable when it comes to chores. We dislike ruts. Don't get it confused with routines though. We need routines, we need habits. The difference between a rut and a habit is that habit is something that you choose. And hopefully it brings positivity to your life. And a rut is something you have to do because your status in society may depend on it. One reason to procrastination might be fear of failure. You can procrastinate even before you start with something because you are afraid to fail at it. Because you are afraid of collective shame. Not that someone cares about it, but that's exactly what you say to yourself. Most often than not, this state strikes people with performance anxiety. I've always seen myself as a sloth, as a lazy person, but in a positive way. It was my way of experiencing life in the moment, in the now. I've never been so harsh to myself. Fear of shame or failure has never been haunting me. So it becomes a kind of a paralysis of analysis. You feel numb without even starting at something and you postpone it because you are terrified. In that case, it's pretty obvious that you suffer of low self-esteem and you have to work on it. I have done several videos on self-esteem and you can check them here. But if you have further questions, you know where to find me. Fear of failure comes from caring what others think about you. And that's the root to that whole issue. Some may postpone because the task is not that important and it can wait. You think for yourself, mm, I have two days left. I'll be dealing with this tomorrow. Or maybe the next day. You think that you have plenty of time, but what ends up happening is that you carry with yourself that tension, that stress throughout those days. Feeling kind of a down, feeling kind of a subpar. So the best thing to do is to deal with your problem there and then so that you can relax from the weight lifted from your shoulders. See the holistic picture. Try to map out the steps that you will be taking and what's the advantages of you dealing with them as they come up instead of waiting. This type of procrastination I call a dream killer. It strikes people who don't know how to start, where to begin, and where are they going to go. They become paralyzed by uncertainty. So instead of taking one step at a time, they imagine the whole picture, try to foresee the future and fail without taking a single step. Why dream killer you may ask? Because there are a lot of people who know their purpose in life, who know their passion in life, but they can't seem to start anywhere. The mind becomes overloaded and instead of starting at something, 
it becomes nothing. Like starting a YouTube channel, you probably heard many to say that the only thing you need is a mobile phone. And here you go, buy a lot of expensive gear and end up only filming two months. My suggestion to those people is just take a step. You cannot plan the whole future. Suppose that your line of sight is three steps and you have to take only one step to see one step extra further. And there's always a possibility that you, my friend, yes, you, work better under pressure. Under pressure. under pressure. Like when you have a lot of on your plate, you get a tunnel vision. You see just that, just your aim, just your goal, and your focus becomes 100%. When you know that you're in a death ground, there's no way to go. Either you make it or you you don't resonate with your work. You don't resonate with what you do or what you do have become a rut and you have lost the creativity, the passion, the funness of that activity. Like one of the subscribers, Kerom, suggested for me to do videos about my living, what I do in a day and more of a personal touch to videos. And I see it as a next step in this channel because at the moment I'm on a hunt for new gear. And when that's done, I will be doing some experimenting for you to keep it fresh and new for me to have more fun. To sum it up, you have to see the bigger picture in procrastination. You have to understand why you feel those feelings and don't neglect them as nonsense. Be always honest with yourself. Be truthful, be realistic with yourself. You have to treat yourself kindly. Don't be harsh on yourself. These things happen to everyone. It's not the matter of if, it's the matter of when. And the thing that will separate yourself from the rest is the way you deal with it. When you do good, reward yourself. Have a balanced life. If you work hard, you have to let off some steam by doing other activities. Better to do something than to do perfect. Perfect is boring and perfect doesn't exist. There's always room for improvement. When you have a lot of excuses, it's mostly because of your fears. So you have to work on yourself. If you're doing something tedious and you don't see any finish line, either procrastination or anxiety will strike you. At the end, everything boils down into figuring out what you want with your life. Think for yourself now, what is the most interesting activity, most fun activity for you today? Can you imagine procrastinating on doing that? I guess not. Now you, my friend, have something to think about. But for now, I am out.